notte magica per la Danimarca. Il Parken Stadium di Copenaghen ha ospitato Sensation White, uno dei fenomeni musicali più spettacolari al mondo, mastodontico evento dance annuale al quale partecipano i più famosi DJ della scena mondiale. Sensation is a combination, it is electronic music, so we have very good DJs playing, but it's not just about the DJs. If you sit and watch Sensation, there is a lot of uh, acting, a lot of special effects, a lot of uh, uh, energy and new things happening every second. It's, it's, it's something that you can't compare to anything else. It is, it is sensation, it is sensation. It is a young group of uh, people from 17 to 45. If you feel uh, younger, it's, it's always fun to, to, to party. Uh, it is a um, group of uh, trendsetters, people that like going out, that like uh, enjoying life and, uh, and uh, releasing themselves from the daily life troubles. It just has to be perfect on quality of entrances, on the, on the uh, organization, the food, the drinks. Yeah, everything needs to be running very round to, uh, to, to worse be called sensation. And we're very keen on it. We're very uh, uh, caring that our audience is having a great experience. Un grande show, quello di Sensation, che necessita di una grande impresa, la IDT, società organizzatrice leader nel campo, che può contare su un numeroso staff che lavora tutto l'anno in attesa dell'evento e su una capillare organizzazione. We are here with 300 people uh, working, it's that time stage builders, decoration guys, uh, guys for the light, uh, the sound, uh, the rigging and all together are uh, 300 uh, guys. And during the, the night, then we have the, the security and the bar people, I think around uh, uh, 500 people. All the decoration is own, our own decoration. Uh, we make it and uh, we, uh, we take it with us. And when we do shows in Europe, we take all the light, sound, the video with us. Just we are here with uh, 30 uh, trailers, big trailers. Uh, and when we go to Melbourne, and we also in Melbourne or Sao Paulo in uh, Brazil, Then we take all the decoration with us, which is uh, five containers with decoration. Nato nel 2000 all'Amsterdam Arena, dal 2005 si è iniziato a pianificare l'evento anche in altre città, con il preciso obiettivo di estendere il fenomeno Sensation nel mondo, con show in numerosi paesi, tra cui Germania, Belgio, Russia e Polonia. Nei prossimi mesi toccherà ad altre 22 nazioni, tra cui Australia, Spagna, Regno Unito e Sud America. Ma perché si è deciso di far partecipare tutti in bianco? Sensation wasn't white at first. Uh, it was uh, just an uh, 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 event uh, in, in the Amsterdam Arena. In the, in the year after, we had a tragedy in the company because the person, well, one of the creators of Sensation, was the brother of uh, the founder of IDT. He uh, was 25, he had a car accident and he, he died. Uh, and for his funeral, people asked, don't, don't come sad, come, come in white, come because he loved life and, and let's honor him in this way. Uh, and after that, a sensation was coming and then they say, you know, let's honor him. When everybody's dressed in white, you know, 20,000 people all in white, it's like you're, you're part of, of, uh, of, of something that inside everybody knows, but outside it's a secret. And when I think of sensation white, it's all about that. You know, it's that's a kind of ma magic thing in the air when they all dress in white and go to a party where they have a really good night, a really great time. Well, it's just, it's kind of pureness. It's everybody is equal this night. And the way the light hits everybody, it's just amazing. But it's, it's more that people just do a little bit extra. And this night, people doesn't wear something like really special everybody's just dressed in white so it makes everybody equal and everybody has the same experience of this big you know society of people just celebrating having a good time con un tema differente ogni anno, dallo spazio al giardino dell'Eden all'oceano, ogni singolo show è completamente differente da quello precedente. Il nuovo tema viene lanciato ogni anno nell'edizione di Amsterdam prima di girare il globo. Tema di quest'anno, il magico mondo di Alice nel Paese delle Meraviglie. No, it's not only a disco, it's not even just a show. Sensation is an adventure. It will take you all night long through an adventure. And the theme of this year is Alice in Wonderland and we're going to take you with Alice through the Wonderland. The people are gonna be from the ah to the ooh to the ah. Acrobati, attori, performers, ballerini, una grandiosa scenografia, giochi di luce, laser e fuochi d'artificio, ma anche ottima musica. Uh, the, uh, the DJs, well, they're the famous, we all only work with the famous DJs of the world, like Eric E, Sebastian Ingrosso, and 
Armin van Buren and we had many different DJs and uh, the dancers, we have a special uh, selected dancing uh, a team and uh, which are trained by the best uh, uh, choreograph from the from Gapstar who does the shows in New York and blah blah and it's, yeah, it's you have to you have to see it's amazing. Otto ore di buona musica selezionata da Morten Broom, Axwell e Sebastian Ingrosso, Mr. White e Tocca Disco che hanno accompagnato ed emozionato un pubblico elettrizzato ad aprire le danze Eric E. And my part of the job is starting the night and it's Let's be, I have to be honest with you, it's for me really easy to start the night in playing a really, a really big hit, you know, banging all the stuff and they all, but I try to, to start the night just, you know, try to build up a groove and let people just get into the night because we have a, from, from the beginning to the end, it's uh, six, seven hours, you know, so I really start, start it up, try to start it up for the next DJ and the DJ after it, not playing all the big hits, all the big tunes, but, you know, try to get another stage well I just played here in Copenhagen and uh, I'm from Denmark so it's like my home arena and it was, it was crazy well it's kind of hands in the air party minimal but still still got a lot of love in it it's party music it's for party people it's for celebrating and having a good time yeah, I've been been doing a lot of sensations and it's been an honor for me to do and it's a big crowd and it's a special thing, it's a big production and it's, 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 a, it's a big difference from a, from a nightclub. But still, you know, people want to dance, people want to have fun, so, I mean, this is a big thing. I love it. When we work together, because normally we work alone and it's quite a lonely job, so sometimes we decide let's do something together because it's fun to work together. So we'll be like, let's do something together. We don't know what it is we're going to do. We just start fooling around with some chords, with some beats and so we have no mindset, it's just that we think, let's have some fun, let's have some fun. You know, basically that's what we do when we do something together. And then, we're like, oh, like for example, when Leave the World Behind came about, Sebastian had his chorus, boom, I was like, oh, that vocal stank, she must beat, but we just... Non è mancato il sound del DJ tedesco Tocadisco, famoso in Italia per aver partecipato all'evento dell'estate romana Gay Village, che ha avuto l'onore di chiudere l'appuntamento di Copenaghen. Chissà che Sensation non possa un giorno approdare in Italia e far divertire il pubblico del nostro paese. A detta degli organizzatori, la volontà c'è. We abbiamo guardato in Italia. Penso che l'Italia ha un molto buon vento, quindi non ci sono molti stadi di football con un roof, penso che non. Ma ci sono alcune arene che potrebbero essere interessanti. Abbiamo ancora bisogno di trovare, diciamo, i giusti permessi e le giusti... Uh, possibilities of doing there but also in regards of uh, sponsoring would be nice to have a company in Italy that would embrace us. I hope to see you in Italy sometime. Uh, we uh, check Milano yeah. for, an, uh, for a venue yeah. and uh, yeah nobody's knows maybe we come uh, fast to Italy <laughs> I don't know. I just before we did this interview I was already asking when are we going to Italy my friend I would love to come to Italy because I like the crowd and and to be honest, um, uh, in, back in the days, I, had, uh, I was running also doing a club in Amsterdam called the Roxy, and we had Claudio Cocoluto, we had uh, Ricky Montanari. So the Italian sound I, I really like. So it would be cool to come down there. If you guys really are ready for sensation, come and visit us in one of the other countries, or otherwise start voting that we're going to come to Italy. E allora, cari telespettatori, non ci resta che sperare che un giorno questo grande show approdi anche nel nostro meraviglioso paese.